Thanks for coming to the channel, Flay Media. Always know about your past because you can never get to the future without knowing about your past. <laughs> say that again you got to know your past before you go to the future just like analog there will be no digital so knowing about this vu meter it just sets a standard with analog gear i came from analog and i can honestly say that it's no comparison we're going to take a look at this vu meter and don't forget to click that like and subscribe and hopefully you let the YouTube people know that this is some good content I'm giving you. And if you haven't, I have my chemistry turned up album out as well on this page. Check that out. You might like that. OK, so we're going to be talking about the VU meter. It's been around since the 30s and specifications have gone largely unchanged for decades. They're still found in mixing consoles, analog recorders, playback machines, and certain outboard gear. VU meters are the cornerstone of analog level monitoring. Now, the very characteristics that make a full scale peak meter so attractive, speed of response and focus on the very loudest moments. So when those meters are popping around, the loudest moments is where you're going to hit at least zero dB. So basically with the VU meter, you got your display size and I'm just using waves as an example. Reference adjustment, graphic delay adjustment. This is your clip indicator, your deviant scale, VU and scale. So analog was always superior because you can buy vinyl. You can open up the album, you can look at the credits, you can look at the artwork. It was tangible things that you can have when you had analog vinyl in your hands. Now with digital, it's just not tangible to me. You have no credits to look for. You have nothing to unwrap. Sales of digital has been declining for a very long long time now as an uptick vinyl is on a comeback a lot of people are buying vinyl so when i say you have to know your past before you get to the future this is what it's gonna all boil down to we're gonna go back we're gonna go back in time so now everybody's using plugins they want that vinyl they want that hiss, they want the noise, they want everything to come back because we know we had a great platform as far as tangible things from vinyl. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the VU meter. Okay, so we're gonna make the headroom adjustment using your VU meter, any VU meter will do. I'm using the waves. You have the headroom, it's gonna be set to 18 and we're gonna do the obvious of having a reference tone, which is right here. So therefore, there will be 18 dB of headroom between 0 dB and VU and digital clipping. So let me reiterate that. If you have your VU meter set to 18, the headroom between 0 dB and digital clipping. So you can be anywhere along these long as you're not clipping so don't get into the gain stage where everything has to be at zero db i'm gonna show you if that was the case with this we're gonna pop this in and we're gonna look at your gain so let's just say everything is peaking at negative 12. that's not properly gain staging you want to be a little bit higher than that. You're going to be at least between a negative nine and a negative six. So I'm going to bring this up nine. 
six. You want to have your gain between a negative six or a negative nine. This is where the peak should be going. You shouldn't be going into the digital clipping domain. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be peaking nowhere near. So anywhere between here and nine, this is where you want to have your gain of all your instruments. All of them. So don't worry about if you're going over zero dB on the VU meter, because this is not what it's intended to do. It's intended to go a little bit more than the average digital meter. It's a big difference. VU meter and digital meters are just different. So you always want to have your instruments gain stage at at least negative nine or negative six peaking. You want to be around in that hot spot. No hotter than that. This is where most of your instruments is going to live peaked, period. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is use this AB plugin to use it as a reference from a master song. I will not play it due to copyright issues with YouTube. I'm just going to get a level match with my song here and we're going to see if the better maker can improve the mix that was done on Pro Tools. This is a file that was already rendered, so I'm not adding any other polished elements in the mix. We're just going to use the better maker. Okay, so we have the levels matched. Let's get this out of the way. And we're gonna take a listen to it without the better maker since it's level matched. Everybody the sick is beyond. 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 Now, notice where my levels is. I'm at a negative nine, a negative six. So that is the sweet spot to have. So when a master engineer and get his hands on your mix, he can turn it up and give it to you in a negative 14 or negative 12 love so you can bring it up to standard of streaming platform so notice where i'm at with my levels So what I'm going to do now is introduce the better maker. Can it make it sound just a little better? And I'm just using a preset. Nothing spectacular about it at all. The interface is linked up. You can do the return. It'll be linked and it'll show you just one stereo that's going to give it to you left and right. So let's listen to it again. Everybody the sick is beyond. Everybody the sick is beyond. Everybody the sick is beyond. Everybody the sick is beyond the pop. Everybody the sick is beyond. Everybody the sick is beyond. Everybody the sick is beyond. Everybody the sick is beyond the pop.
difference. Big difference with this Better Maker. This is one of the plugins that you definitely need when you're at that tipping point where you need to send it off to a master engineer. I wish I had this years ago. Just found out about it. Like I said, I came from Pro Tools. The system I was running, I couldn't have ran this plugin, period. I was on Pro Tools 8.5. But I was able to get work done, period. Didn't matter what type of DAW I had, I was able to get it done. So let's listen to that again. So you let me know in the comments below what you think about this better maker. I think it's one of the dopest plugins out on the market right now. You need to pick this up. This is definitely always in my chain. Let's hear it again on. this better make the eq 232d is it worth it i think it is in my opinion i will always use this on my bus don't forget to click that like and subscribe and we'll see you again thanks Everybody.